Welcome to Yoga Flow to Handstand. So today we will be warming up our wrists as well as our shoulders, our core, making sure that you get ready for your handstand practice. Whenever you're ready, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start on our tabletop positions. So let's bring our hands and our knees down. So make sure that your shoulders stack on top of the wrist and your knees are underneath the hips. So we'll start with a simple wrist warm up first. So from here, lift the palms. You can tuck or flat your feet. Start to paddle your palms side to side, left and right, just a few times. Set out the movements, really engaging and pulling the core in towards the back of the spine. And from here, tuck the toes, press your palms even harder, round the spine. And lift the knees off the ground, just not too high and not too low, just a bit of uh, a few inches, I would say. And from here, you're going to hold and breathe. One. Keep rounding into the spine. Two. Breathing. Squeeze your glutes a bit. Three. Four. Five. You got this. Six. Seven. Pull the belly even harder. And then from here, straight back into downward facing dog. Paddle the legs. Just from here, side to side, and to the left and to the right. Deep, big breath in. Lift the heels up high. Exhale. Pull the heels down. And from here, we're going to go a bit back into the tabletop positions again. Bring your palms. Just step it, hop it back a bit. And from here, come back into the tabletop with the knees lifted. And from here, you're going to shift forward into the front shoulder over the wrist. And then send the hip back towards so the heels. Try to keep the knee hover. Shift forward. Exhale. Inhale. Come back. <clears throat> Hop forward. And back three. Get forward. And back four. So we're going to keep our legs, our glutes as well. Exhale. Warming up. Five. Forward. Shoulder over the wrist. Six. Try not to drop the shoulder blades. <clears throat> keep pulling. Pushing. And two more. Forward. Keep the knee low. Knee bend the whole time. Press. And back. And from here, shift forward. Slide your hands forward into the high plank. Round the spine. Round the upper back. Keep pulling the belly in. Squeeze your glutes and your inner thighs. And from here, hold. For three, two, and one. Set the knee. Shats and shin down for our first Bhujangasana. Inhale. Open up into the chest. Exhale, curl your toes back into downward facing dog. Whew, and now I think you might feel a little warm up in our body. So we're just gonna go further through the our core. And from here, inhale, lift the heels high. Shift forward into the plank pose. Round the spine. And from here, drop the thighs down into upward facing dog. Deep, big breath in. Exhale, bend the knee. Send the hip back towards through the heels. Press into the palm. Keep the knee bent. From here, straight the legs. Shift forward. Exhale, into high plank. Up dog. Modify, tuck the toes. Exhale. Press. Straight arm. Inhale, straight the leg. Exhale, shift forward. High plank, inhale again, up dog, exhale, bend, try to keep the knees float, back, inhale, straight the leg, exhale, high plank, inhale, bend, up dog, exhale, send it back, last one, here to go, inhale, straight the leg, exhale, round the shoulder blades, up Inhale, up dog, exhale. Send the hip all the way back. This time, step the feet forward. Into downward facing dog, press into the hands. From here, we're gonna go a bit on the core. Step the feet to the front of the mat. Sit the, set the hip down, straight into the leg. Now from here, we're gonna try to lower and tuck the, our tailbone down, 
lower ourselves here into a tabletop position with the back laying down. All right, from here, lift the knees up. Started to go into a little bit of core work here. Make sure that your knees stack on top of the hips and keep pressing this lower back down the whole time, right? Now option one, you can keep your back or your head laying down on the floor. For the second option, a little more advanced, you're gonna curl and round the upper back up. Keep pressing your palms up into like you're pushing the ceiling. Keep the shin bone parallel with the mat and keep pressing. And then from here, take a deep, big breath. If you feel that there's any of this or putting a lot of pressure into your neck, welcome to bring your hands behind the head here. And from here, keep pulling, pressing. Foot five, four, oh, and don't hold the breath. Three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna straight the right leg forward. Keep the left leg where they are. And from here, come back, exhale, straight the left leg, and come back, keep pressing the lower back, exhale, right, come back, exhale, left, come back, try not to move the knee right here, try to keep it forward a bit, stack on top of the hips, and from your switch, right, straight it out, inhale back, I know I'm dying it too, <laughs> exhale, Inhale, back, keep pressing. Two more times each. Exhale, left, back, and from here, right, back, and left, and back. Very good. And from here, set the head, relax the lower belly, take a deep, big breath in. And from here, hug the knees in towards your chest, a little bit of massaging into that low back. If, you're, if you happen to use it, which is you will use less of the back, the lower back, less and less, the more you practice into this one. All right, now we're gonna cross the leg, come forward, bring your hands down, step the feet back into downward facing dog again. Press into the hands, relax the shoulders from here, inhale, lift the heels high, roll forward into side plank. Let's start with the right hand down first. You can keep your left foot just a bit in front of you or Keep it into the traditional side plank. Squeeze your glutes, lift the bottom of the right ribs up. And from here, we're gonna start to spin the shoulders. Great, right, make a fist. And from here, try to spin it out. So this would be an anti-clockwise. Squeeze your glutes for one, good. Two, it's good also for the balance. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the core stable, eight, nine and ten switch left hand down and from here spin into the outer edge of the left foot again you can have your right foot to support if you feel a little you know unstable otherwise or from here and from here spin the shoulders keep the core tight squeeze your glutes two three big circle four try to straighten the arm the whole time five six breathe seven eight nine and ten all right from here right hand down shift forward chaturanga inhale cobra or upward facing dog stretching out those bellies squeeze your elbows in and on the exhale curl your toes all the way back downward facing dog and from here inhale lift the right leg up into the sky keep the hips square Lift the left heels even higher. Exhale, draw the right knee towards your nose, round the spine. Hold it here. Try to get the shoulders over the wrists like you want to get forward. Just keep pulling and squeezing for five, four, three. Left leg strong, two, and one. Inhale, kick the right leg up and back. Try to keep the hips square and pointing up your toes. Exhale this time, knee to nose again, but we're not holding. Exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale, three, inhale up, again, four, up, last one. Hands from your step, the right foot forward. Between your hands, tuck your back toes, inhale, come up for crescent. 
Take a deep, big breath. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep the arms straight and powerful. Squeeze your glutes, inner hips, uh, inner thighs towards together. Take a deep, big breath here. Hold. Three. Draw the belly in, especially the right ribs. Four. Press the weight into that right heel. Five. Okay, from here, bring both hands down. Press into your palms. Try not to move the shoulders back. Keep the shoulders on top of the wrist. Step back to your vinyasa. Come down. Inhale. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Now the left side. Inhale. Lift the left leg up. Keep the hips square. Point your toes. Exhale. Draw the knee towards your nose. And we're going to hold it here for five. Pulling everything in. Round the upper back. Three. Two. Press. Keep that right leg strong. And one. Inhale. Lift the left leg up. Five times you go. Back and forth. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Two. Round the upper back. Press into your inner hands. Exhale. Three. And up. Four. Up and five. Okay, from here, step your left foot forward to the front. And from here, take a deep, big breath. Come up, crescent. Deep, big breath. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears. And hold it here for five. Four. Three, bend. Two. And one. Bring both hands down. And from here, step back to your vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale. Now go back a little bit on shower pose and rest your forehead. Take a deep, big breath. Five, four, three, two. Relax your shoulders. And one. All right, from here, you're going to press the palms. Come all the way back again. Downward facing dog. Press the heels down. Inhale. Lift the right leg up. Keep the hips square. Lift the left heels. Exhale. Draw the knee towards your nose. Round the spine. From here, kick it up, back and up. Exhale. Only three times. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Round the spine. From here, step the right foot forward between the hands. Inhale. Come up for crescent. Take a deep, big breath. Squeeze your thighs and your glutes. Exhale from here. Both hands to the front. Standing split. Kick the left leg up. Open up. First one. You can open up the hip. Open the left hip as high as you can. Keep that right leg strong. Relax your shoulders and the neck. For four. Really squeezing into your glutes. Try to turn the right front thigh outwards and one from here slowly come up lift the chest up first bring your hip a little bit down into a little warrior tree keep the hip square and from here we're not holding it just yet exhale step your left foot back bring both hands to the front step back you will vinyasa inhale open up exhale Downward facing dog, the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up, lift the right heels, keep the hips square. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine. Inhale, kick up and back. Exhale, two, inhale. Exhale, round the spine, step the right, the left foot forward. Inhale, crescent. Deep, fully inhale, send the energy up towards the fingertips. Exhale, both hands on the floor, standing split. Keep that right hip open on our first round. Deep, big breath. For five, open up the right hip. Four, three, two, and one. Close the right hip down. Look a little higher up. Keep the chest a little lift. Point your toes. And then from here, bend your left leg. Step that right foot back. Press your palms. Step it back. Find your high plank first, round the spine, squeeze your glutes, 
exhale, come down, inhale, and exhale, press your hands all the way into downward facing dog, keep pressing your palms, now we're going to go even further and on, and inhale, lift the right leg up, keep the left heels all lift and high, exhale, draw the knee towards your nose three times, inhale, up, exhale, inhale, exhale, step that right foot forward, inhale, reach up, and from here, exhale, standing split, this time keep the hips square, squeeze into your inner thighs, trying to look at your left toes, kick it up, and from here, inhale, lift the chest, trying to get your feet here parallel with the hip, you can have your hands on the floor or bring your palms right in front of your chest, hold it here for warrior three, for five, four, three, right leg strong, two, and one, from here we're going to slowly bend your right leg, come up, bring your left knee up towards so your chest, lift it even higher, squeeze into your right glutes, press the right thigh firmly, hold it for five, four, relax the shoulders, three, two, and one, from here, bring your left foot back, bend your right knee, keep the hip square, step your left foot back, both hands down, hop the right foot back, shift forward, vinyasa, inhale, open up, exhale, into downward facing dog, inhale from here, lift the left leg up, lift the right heel as well, keep the core tight, exhale, knee towards the nose three times, inhale, straight the left leg back and up, exhale, round, inhale, up, exhale, round, and step your left foot forward, tap your toes, crescent, deep big breath in, and from here, exhale, standing split, with the hips square, this time, point your toes, from here, hold just a bit, inhale, slowly come up for warrior three, keep the right hip even a little bit lower than the one before, Hands can be down or make a prayer for five. Really squeeze into that inner thighs. Four. Left leg strong. Draw the ribs in. And one. From here, inhale. We're going to slowly stand up. Keep your knees even higher. Squeeze your left glutes. Draw the ribs for five. Four. Three. Stand up nice and tall. Two. And one. From here. Bend your left leg, slowly draw that right foot back, bring your hands down, step back, your vinyasa, inhale, and from here, exhale, press your palms back, deep big breath in through the nose, exhale, let it out, now let's go on, inhale, lift the right leg up, Lift the heels as well, exhale, draw the knee towards your nose three times, round the spine, inhale, kick the right leg up and back, exhale, two, inhale, up, exhale, round the spine, step that right foot forward, crescent, inhale, breathe it all the way up, good, exhale, standing split, bring your hands down, kick your left leg up, try your best to keep the hips square, Inhale from here, warrior three, squeeze into your inner thighs, and from here, exhale, hold just a bit, inhale, lift your left leg up, this time you feel free to bend your left knee, or straight your left leg forward, and hold for five, four, you can keep your hands up, three, two, and one, okay, from here, bend into your left leg, Bring your right hand towards your left knee, finding a little bit of the twist. And deep, big breaths, it's really squeezing through your inner thighs. Four, three, two, and one. All right, from here, slowly bending to that right knee. Step your left feet back, both hands on the floor. Now we're gonna switch it up into a bit of a challenge chaturanga. Shift forward, round the spine. 
You can come down with the knee chest chin or a traditional one or try this one. Exhale, come down, chaturanga. And from here, all the way up, inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale from here, back again, chaturanga. All right, from here, you can drop the knees, chest chin, and lift it up again into downward facing dog. I'll show you the other modification on the other side. Now inhale, lift the left leg up. Keep the hip square. Exhale, knee to nose three times. You got this. Inhale up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, crescent. Deep big breath in. Exhale, standing split. Hip square. Inhale, warrior three. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, hold it here. Inhale, come up on one leg, standing up high knee. Lift the right knee up even higher. Option is to straight into that right leg. Reach the hands for five, four, three. Point your toes, two, and one. Bend your left leg, right leg here. Left hands go on your right knee. Twist towards to that right side. You can look towards to the right fingertips. Whoop. Or just keep looking forward and hold four, three, two, and one from here. Slowly keep the hip square first. Bend your left leg. Bring your hands down. Finding our uh, modified chaturanga. Shift forward. Come down. Inhale. Upward facing dog. You can keep the toe tucks. Exhale. Again, chaturanga. And then come all the way back to downward facing dog. Press into the hands. Now inhale, keep going further. You're building up the heat. Lift the right leg up. Hip square. Lift the left heels. Exhale. Roll forward. Knee to nose three times. Inhale. Kick the right leg up and back. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Three. Step the right foot forward. Inhale. Crescent. Keep the breath moving. Going. Exhale. Standing split. Inhale, find your warrior three, lengthen your spine, hip square, exhale, hold it here, and then from here, inhale, come up to the stand, point your toes, you get that already, deep, big breath in, exhale, bend into your left leg, and from here, either option this one, keep that right hand on the knees, or grabbing into that real edge of the right foot, straight it back, hold it for five, four, Three, you can bend your left leg a bit. Three, two, and one from here. Set the foot out. Now, we're gonna step your left foot back. Turn your left feet out. Warrior two. Deep, big breath in. Squeeze into your glutes and your thighs. Draw the ribs in. Try to get both arms really super strong, not just the front arms. Relax your shoulders, engage your core. Press into that right heel even harder. And then two more breaths here. And great job. Bring both hands onto the front of the mat. Step the right foot back. Find your vinyasa inversion. The chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, chaturanga. And then downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. You're doing a great job. Exhale. From here, knee to nose. Round the spine three times. Inhale, kick it up and back. Exhale, two. Inhale, up. Exhale, round the spine. Step that left foot forward. Inhale, crescent. You got this. Exhale, standing split. With the hip square as much as you can. Inhale, finding your warrior three. Hip a little more lower. Hold it here. Inhale, standing all the way up. Lift the right leg, pointing up your toes. Deep, big breath in. Exhale, either bend your right knee or keep it into the outer edge of the foot and kick for five, four, three. I'd rather see you bend the right knee here. Lengthen up the chest rather than here. Two and one. All right, from here, let go of that right foot. And then from here, step that right foot all the way back, turn your right fingertips out, warrior two, press into that outer edge of the right foot, sink the hip down, open up into that left knees, 
four, three, two, and one. Again, we kneel both hands down and step back, round the spine, go down, inhale. Upward facing dog, exhale, chaturanga again, I know. And then come all the way back, downward facing dog, press into the heels, deep big breath in. Feel free to pause the video anytime you need more rest, all right? Okay, now from here again, inhale, lift the right leg up, hip square, exhale, knee to nose three times, keep that going, inhale, up, exhale, shoo, shoulder over the wrist, round the upper back, last one here, exhale, shoo. step that right foot forward, inhale, crescent, deep big breath in, exhale, standing split, kick it all the way up, inhale, Warrior three, deep big breath, exhale, hold. Now from here, inhale, high knee, squeeze into that right glutes, lift it up, straight the left leg, exhale, bend, either grab into that knee or the foot and kick it back. Squeeze your inner thighs, from here, let go of the hands. Now from here, Slowly step that left foot back, warrior two again. Take a deep, big breath, squeeze into your glutes, open up into the chest. All right, exhale this time, left hand down, go for side plank, Vashisasana. You can have your right feet here or into that, the outer edge, or try to kick it up. Whatever options, feel free, but really lift into that bottom of the left ribs for four. Or even grab the big toes if you have the flexibility. Two and one. Okay, from here, we're gonna switch into that side, bring into that right foot down, and then switch into the side plank. Again, any options are welcome. Make it like the other side. For so five, four, three, two, and one. Let go. Shift forward and come down. Inhale. Exhale, oops, you go back into the normal chaturanga. Anytime you feel free to modify, let's try to another side. Let's go, inhale, lift the left leg up. Keep that right heel lift, exhale, knee to nose three times. Round, inhale up, exhale two, inhale up, exhale. Step the left foot forward, crescent, inhale. Send the energy up really even higher. Exhale, standing split. Keep the breath flow as much as a movement. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, hold it here. Inhale, send all the way up, high knee. Either kick, open. Exhale, bend, grab the knee. Straight the leg, twist. Squeeze your inner thighs, good. And from here, bend, let go of the legs. Step back, warrior two. Open up into the hands, deep, big breath in. Exhale, side plank again. This time start with the right hand first. Feel free to modify it, maybe into the tree pose. Variations, which I find it quite challenging. All right, squeezing up for four, three, two, and one. So if you're on the tree, variations, trying to spin into the right toes first. Try to put the left hand as low as low as you can. And from here, switching it up. Straight into that right, the left leg. Maybe pull the right thighs, right feet in. Hold it here. Shoulder on top of the wrist. Three, two, and one. And from here, vinyasa. Your version. Inhale. Or even plank. And have a dog. Exhale. Let's go a bit for shell pose. Ooh, drop the forehead down. Take a deep, big breath in. And trying to calm up the breath. Now try to breathe with me. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. And exhale slowly for four, three, two, one again, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, 
exhale four three two and one last breath here inhale four keep it long three two one hold at the top and exhale four three two and one all right from here slowly roll the shoulder up <clears throat> and we're gonna go a little bit more on our core which i find it helps a lot when we try to kick up into the handstand because for me personally like i have the the problem where when i go up to the handstand my back started to bend and arch into the shape of banana or into like a scorpion and to be honest that's not really safe right so i find that this kind of core work help this tremendously all right so we're gonna sit on our hip again we're doing the core work just like the beginning of the class right but but a little more uh, uh long and more reps all right now start with the tabletop with our laying down tuck the tailbone and keep whatever you do keep pressing the lower back on the floor as much as you can i don't care if your legs are straight or bent but trying to keep this you know like really stable into this which is going to help you into any types of uh the inversions Half from here keep the knees bent into the tabletop again you can have your shoulders down your neck down or if you want more advanced lift but if you are here and you started to arch your back i recommend that you press the lower back and lower the shoulder blade down instead all right no matter where you are keep that pulling the belly in and down press into the hands or hands behind the head wherever feels comfortable for you knees on top of the hip shin bone parallel deep big breath now i'm gonna curl up for me pressing into that lower back take a deep big breath and from here you're gonna straight that right leg up point the toes exhale bring your right foot all the way as much as you can without losing the gap here and kick it up good exhale down and up exhale down inhale up four down up five good down Ooh. six keep pressing rounding seven and up exhale down eight i'm feeling it up nine last one hold it here keep pressing over five four three two and one now from here bring your right knee back keep the curl and everything rounding take a deep big breath straight the left leg up bending into that knee exhale sink down one down two oh i'm burning it up here down three and the right knee wanna cave in so try your best to keep it here and press four you got this halfway there down five six four more seven eight exhale nine you got this and ten hold it here for five four press the low back three two and one great job guys okay hug your knees in towards your chest really rounding everything into the curl massage your back take one fully big breath in exhale ha ah, good job now from here roll forward we're gonna try to get up into a little or a little or hop so a few uh options to do it here is if you are the beginner and you're not confident and you still need the wall uh maybe face yourself against the wall uh this way or for those who are quite confident you're gonna try to use the momentum to cash the balance all right so we're using our flow and from here we're gonna kick it up and again be safe and don't do anything that you feel is too rich okay this is just the prep we get our wrists ready shoulders core everything legs everything ready from here start with and inhale lift the right leg up keep the hips square squeeze your glutes lift the left heel even high exhale draw the knee towards your nose and from here kick it up one time just only one time exhale knee to nose again shoulder over the wrist step that right foot forward and down 
Inhale, from here, crescent. Deep, big breath in through the chest. Lift it up, exhale. From here, both hands on the floor. You're gonna hop the right foot just a one step back. So you have the space. So make sure, if you're not sure, face yourself against the wall. Press into your palm. When you kick, I want you to think about pressing into your palm and a little bit rounding into the lower back. Okay, so from here, press. And then shift the weight into that right foot like you try to go up into the standing split. But only this time, free from here, right? And from here, use that right thighs to press in and to into the ball of the right foot and maybe hop it up and come down. All right, so from here again, and shop, hop it up and come down. Feeling burn into the leg, leg, right? And from here, shift forward and then come down. All right, so a few of you would have this arching the back. So again, keep that core tight. All right, let's try it again. Shift forward, hop it up, come down. A really fun move to transitions. Again, back into crescent. Deep, big breath. I can use the momentum. I'm telling you, it's going to feel tired into the legs and the glutes a lot. You probably do it only a few times and then you have to rest, but that's okay, all right? Your body will adapt. Deep, big breath. Use the momentum. Hop it up. Hoop. And then come back again. Crescent. This is quite fun. <laughs> Exhale. Hop it up and down. Doesn't matter if you're not going all straight the way up. Just feel the lift. And the power, exhale, in case you're a core, hop it up and down. All right, from here, straight into that right leg. A little bit on our wild things, just to get it stretching out. So step that right foot all the way to the back. Deep, big breath, maybe open up into the chest a bit. Squeeze your glutes. I like to circle up my shoulders. Exhale, come back. Find your vinyasa, any version, so welcome, inhale. Stretching out the belly, squeeze your glutes, exhale, shoo, all the way back. Shao pose is always welcome for you if you need it. All right, we're going to try on the other side. Press into the hands. Inhale, kick the, right, the left leg up this time. Keep the hips square, exhale, draw the knee towards your nose. One more time, inhale up, exhale, round the spine. Step that left foot forward, inhale, deep, big breath in, and again, exhale, both hands down, hop that back foot, left foot, just one step back, so you have the space. Again, when you kick it up, try to get the hips square, prep everything first, enter the ready, lean the weight into the ball of the left heels, of the left foot, pressing into that left thighs, and again, from here, hop it up. Maybe you just let it down here first before we rise up into the crescent. And again, hop up and down, maybe crescent. Deep, big breath, exhale. Whew. And back down. I find it very fun. <laughs> Deep, big breath, exhale. Whoop. Maybe you're catching up, maybe you're not. And maybe you flip this as well. And from here, go back or the shower pose. Exhale. No matter where you are in your practice, be careful. I will make some uh, of the uh, tutorial about falling from handstand. All right. Now from here, come back into the center. Maybe a little, take a little bit of stretching out. From the side, step your left foot outside the mat. Open up into that left shoulder. Squeeze into your glutes. Open up. Exhale. Come back. And then rest. All right, before we... Let's move it up quick into a bit of stretching out. So we're going to go into our pigeon pose. So hope you're having fun as much as me. Okay, so keep that right foot, right shin bone across the mat. Take a deep, big breath in. Exhale. Come down.
and trying to get that right out the hips stretching up as much as you can three two and one okay let's switch into the other side and step that right leg back try to keep that right thighs forward and down three four and five okay now from here a little twist cross that right leg on top and twist oh for five elbows pressing the knees four three two and one okay switch you can have your hands hooking elbows hooking or just hold it keep that back straight draw the left shoulder down four three two and one okay now you can sit back yourself into savasana and rest your body and remember this thing takes time just be patient be careful know what you're doing always have the awareness and thank you so much for joining my practice today, namaste.